Note, I want everybody who is watching this review to listen carefully. Before I even get to the story, I want to say that my review only pertains to the single player. I only rented the game, meaning I cannot play it online. I'm sorry guys, but you can blame EA on that one. The story starts off with our quiet hero and his squad on a test to find a missing unit. I'm going to be honest here, the story feels a bit too much like Black Ops with its point of view and going back to see what happens and oh what's the mystery and what happened and stuff like that. Felt like Black Ops, I'm not going to lie. Or any military movie. At the same time though, most things that happen in Black Ops, I didn't actually give a fuck. Here, when we got nukes or when we're trying to find them and we're worried that they're going to go off and we want to save people, I actually worried. So the game does a decent enough job of actually getting you into the story, and that's probably due to the voice acting actually pre being pretty well done for the most part. I'd say the weakest part of the story would be the been there, done that feel of the story that it presents. And while I know you can only take a military story so far and in so many directions, it feels all too familiar, and you could probably guess all the twists and turns. However, if you like high explosive blockbuster action movies with good voice acting, you're going to enjoy it. Anyone looking for something brand new, you definitely won't find it in Battlefield 3. Woo! Graphic wise, baby, I didn't even get to play this on the PC. But, let's talk about the graphics on the console. Graphic wise, this game looks fucking amazing. Second you get into the plane and fly, I was so amazed that my jaw actually went... Well, you can't see it, but you get the idea. The amount of detail that is presented through the entire game will definitely make your jaw drop a few times. Design-wise, it's a military shooter, so standard shooting areas, desert cities, buildings, and so on. The explosions look great, set pieces are wonderfully animated, and the movements of everyone look pretty good. So, the graphics are easily one of the best features of the game, and let your eyes orgasm as they watch it. we get to the gameplay now this is where it changes not really gameplay wise it feels like it's standard military shooter you'll pop guys in the head once or twice and move on it really doesn't differ all that much throughout the entire campaign though the playing part was definitely fun and looked amazing it's just not the next ace combat or anything the tank part was a lot more fun than i thought it would be and the e3 demo made me think it was going to be shit but it actually was fun but as far as the actual shooting gameplay when you're on foot it stays largely the same as all other military shooters. Pop a few guys, move to the next area, watch a cutscene or a set piece, continue. While not new, it definitely works. The pros are the shooting feels good, the vehicles are well controlled, and the set pieces are pretty fucking awesome at times. Now the bad is that it really can get quite boring because you're shooting the same guys over and over again. My problem is a lot of firefights are within corridors, so it's small shooting areas that can be really a problem for me. It's why I love the game like Crisis 2 single player where they set you up in a nice big area and let you tackle it the way you want to. Battlefield basically says, shoot in a straight line, that's all sir. And while the set pieces are nice to look at, the quick time events are lifeless and sadly boring. I don't know if it's the sound or the fights or the movements, but all of it comes off too late and just awkward making the fights look silly and not badass at all. While some might not find that as a big flaw, I did since there's so many quick time events presented throughout the entire game. I enjoy Battlefield 3 and I do think it's a good shooter. At points in the single player, I wanted to claim that it's great, but then there's other points it just seems to be a standard shooter. I wish I could have gotten to the online section, which is the section people are raving about, but sadly EA doesn't even allow a fucking trial, and you can't even test the damn game online. 
So it left me with the option of not even getting to try the online, which is a major suckage for you guys and me because I can't review it and you can't watch me review it. If you're looking for a fun single player, you'll find it here with about six hours of content. However, the online sounds like the beef of the game and sure would have made my rating probably a point higher or even more than a point. However, as it stands right now, when you pick up this game, um, you are wanting a full package. And the single player uh, side does not deliver quite as well as I was hoping for. Single player wise, it's a 7.5 simply because it's good, but it doesn't strive to be anything above that. One day, when I find it's cheap enough, I'll pick up the game and try the multiplayer and see if my opinion goes up higher, which I, I'm sure it will since the online sounds like the good part. For now though, what EA gave me is a game that I only can rent and it's only a single player. So with that, I give it a 7.5. Anybody who's tried the multiplayer, whole different rating. But single player wise, Battlefield 3 is a 7.5. It's a good game, but just nothing more than that. So